Hi there, if you've ever bought a knife from us, you've heard us say, don't cut hard things. This video I'm going to chip a knife and show you what we really mean. Chips happen. You can chip a knife, it can be an accident, don't worry, we can fix it. You can mail the knife in or come visit us at one of our stores here and we can fix those for you. Let me show you a couple of the main culprits that we have that cause chipping in your knife that you might not expect. Hard vegetables, hard cheese, pits, and bones. Also, you really want to avoid frozen foods with your knife. Not only is it hard, the cold will make the steel cold and that means the knife will be more brittle and easier to chip. I've got this big acorn squash here and there are ways of cutting it without chipping your knife but I'm first going to show you how you could probably chip your knife. Safety first. You see there's this hard woody stem in here. I'm going to cut right into that. Sure enough, I've got a little chip in my knife. To avoid having that happen, you want to go a little bit further back because that stems a little bit like an iceberg and goes inside. And instead of pushing the knife straight down, you want it to slide. Sometimes you have to make a couple of moves to make it go through. This is very cold and I think what would be better is if I were to let it sit out on the counter and come to room temperature before I cut it. Also, on hard cheese like this big piece of Parmesan Reggiano, there's this hard rind. That hard rind, not something you really want to eat. My rule of thumb, if I don't want to chew on it with my own teeth, I'm not going to try and cut it. If you want to properly cut the rind off of your cheese and avoid the chipping, I suggest putting one hand over the top of the knife and pushing straight down and not trying to go fast. You'll see the cheese will start to crack and you can just push the knife straight down. Avoid getting it stuck in the hard rind and twisting. That can lead to chipping. Now, you could always cut a peach, an olive, or like this, a nectarine. The flesh is fine, but the pit is not. Oh, God, <sighs> that hurt. Again, you'll want to just do that motion where you cut around the outside, pull it apart, and then try to cut the soft flesh. Again, you're going to try and cut the stuff that you would eat with your own teeth. You're not going to try and eat the pit. Last but not least, we have a chicken. Chicken have these great little bones that give it so much flavor when you're roasting it. And you can take the bones off, but let me show you how you can run into a chicken bone and chip your knife. You can't go through a knife or through a bone with a knife. You can go around the bone and take the bone out but you don't want to try and go into the bone. Sure enough, that's a little chip on the knife, and it looks like there's even a bit of a crack now in the steel too. So again, if you run into something hard, don't force it. Take the knife out, go around the hard spot. That way you can be sure to avoid chipping your knife. And again, if you think it's a bad idea, it probably is. Now, if you've chipped your knife, and you want to get it repaired, you can bring it into one of our stores in either Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, or Vancouver, and we'll repair it for you. If you're from out of town, you can mail the knife in, and we can get that chip fixed. In fact, if it's your first sharpening on any knife you've bought from us, that repair will also be free, as, as well as the sharpening. Thanks for watching this painful experience with me today. That was not fun to damage a knife like that, but I really wanted to make sure people knew what it would be like to chip a knife so you can avoid those situations. Please hit the link below, follow us, subscribe to us, or you can hit us up on our website at knifeware.com. Also feel free to leave a comment or any questions you might have in the section below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.